Hello Stamper! Welcome to French's video. I'm French Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchyStamps.com in the United States. Today I'm going to share with you how to do this cute little flip card here. Um, this was a swab that I received from Rhonda uh, this one I done, Rhonda, Rhonda Baz, Basler, Basler, let me double check, Basler, this is the one that I received, so I needed a bunch of anniversary card, and I thought this was perfect, so I'm going to share with you how to do it with the designer series paper, and also how to do it with uh, the coloring here, so um, here is hers, right here, so I decide because I needed so many of them. You can see I got a truckload ready to go here to do the designer series paper on this part, but you can do it both ways. It it don't matter. The designer series paper it's a peacefully a peaceful poppies. The stamp set it's painted poppies. So let's get started. I switched the size a little bit from Earth, just a quarter inch, to save. On designer series paper and also that it's easier or should I say you we get l less ways of paper I just shoved something under there hmm. so we're gonna start um, I'm using a uh, blackberry bliss for this one we're gonna cut um, this is eight and a half by eleven regular size cardstock we're gonna cut this on the long way at eight and a half so we're going to cut this at eight and a half. Now this part here, it's exactly two and a half. So that's going to go or flip. So with, you're going to make two base out of a card sheet and one of the, the strip. So that way we don't waste any of this. This is going to take this. We're going to put that at four and a quarter and score this because that is exactly half. And voila. So now we got our piece for the inside to flip. Now I'm going to take this here. So th this should be exactly eight and a half by eight and a half. So it doesn't matter which way you're going to score, but we're going to score right away at three inch. So score this at three inch. Now you're going to flip this and cut that at four and a quarter. So now we got two of the the card base right here so this is going to get folded and folded and then if you do a bunch like me then you're going to need another piece of cardstock so uh, I would cut on the long well I would put it on the long way first I'm sorry let's back up the bus I would score this here at four and a quarter turn it around and then cut at two and a half some strips to do the other one so that's how I prep my paper. Now your designer series paper, now you're going to need for the bottom, oh, that's the wrong one. Did I cut more or not? Hmm, I thought I did, I thought I thought. Yes, right here. So for the bottom one here, your paper going to measure four by two and three quarter. We're going to go ahead and mount that right away and then the inside it's poppy parade so for the inside and we're going to do two at the same time because I got one that we're going to do with paper and one with um, stamps so you can see both of them that it's all in the same print uh, in the same um, paper just a different print now, this year I emboss with the new folder in the mini catalog. I thought I had the folder here. Here it is. It is a 6x6 six six folder, a 3D. It's the Persian Flourish. I absolutely love this. So, um, I just put my card, I lined up about at the corner there. So it's about the same. You see the circle, circle. But it doesn't matter really because you're going to cover this. If it's not in the center, it don't matter. But if you look to center this here, um, it's easy because you. I look for points that I can align that. That's it. 
So that's the, the one that I use. And this is in the Poppy Parade. All measurement, all color, and so on will be on my blog. Right below in the description, you get the direct link. Or above in the eye, you get the direct link also. Now this is going to get put inside. And now we're going to put this Oh. Put the other one. We're doing two, so it's two for one today. Put it that way. So you're gonna see, you know, um, a little bit more time consuming if you stamp it out, but it's all simple. Now we're gonna use. Um, did I get the wrong piece here? Let's see. Oh, it's a little bit narrow. Let's see right here. I bet these one are too long. Okay, let's trim this here. So, because I had some at the four, and um, let's do at four. So this piece here, it is four by two and a quarter. Now, for your designer series paper, you're going to need the same thing. Two and a quarter by four. So I'm using pretty much every print in this pack of paper. I already, I'm on my second pack of paper of this. I absolutely love it. So, oh, we needed another two more of this. Let me, I'm sorry. Let's go at four here. Maybe when it's, okay, here we go. I think some I had different strip cut the same size than her at nine and four and a quarter. So let's me fold this here. It's better if you score. So then you don't have that pucker here. Let me fix this. So some of it are all olive and some of it are blackberry bliss. So yes, so that's what I'm saying. If you switch the size that I give you, it's going to be easier. The reason why I say it's easier, it's because of the, let me think, the way that you cut the paper. So now that we get this, oh, what I should do is, Okay, we're going to do the top one first here. The one we're going to stamp. I got my measure here cheated a little bit, right? So let me take Memento ink, and this is for the top. Okay, so what i done is stamp, stamp, and stamp. Now I'm using the other print too. I'm going to do one there, and then we're going to use the leaf. So it's no right and wrong. That should be good. Then I use my dauber. And it's smear, but by the time it's done, I mean it's smear, I don't really pay close attention to it. By the time it's done, it looks great. So I got my poppy parade here that I'm going to do this one right here. So I just circle motion. And even if you pass, don't worry about that. And then I'm going to do this one. Mm. I don't want, well, some of it going to be together. Going to do this in Poppy Parade also. Then I'm going to go with um, my Blackberry Bliss. And I'm going to go right here. Oh, wrong one. Dang it. Let me fix that. Here we go. With my Blackberry Bliss. Blackberry Bliss is very dark. So, sometimes I tap on my uh, scrappy paper first. Here we go. And then, we're going to go ahead with Old Olive. Now I'm looking for my dauber of old olive. Oh, I see it. I got a little mess here. I'm gonna go with so the leaf. What I like to do with the leaf, you see the point. I like to start right there at the point and come down and then just fill a little bit. Go here at the point, go down and fill a little bit. It's gonna go on the side. That's okay. If you want, you can sponge around too. 
but we're going to leave it like that. Now for the greeting there, so this is going to come right here at the top. Let's do this. And inside I did one of the flower. Let me share what I done. I don't have to do that now because you're going to have the jig of it. Oh, I had smear finger there. Let me see what I can do about that. I don't mind the smear, but not smear fingers, right? Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put this inside here. Usually I like to have a base one color and the top another color. This time, this is the way it goes here. Or do I have a green one? I do have a green one. So you know what? You're going to see both of them. So let me... Uh, do this quick. I got the paper already. So we're going to go like this. Put that right here. And let me remove this dirty piece here. Now this here doesn't matter if you go at the nine and score at uh, four and a half like the other one or you go eight and a half score at four and a quarter. It doesn't matter. Just put that here in the center. Press this. This is going to get full there. Now I need to add another paper to it, right? Because we switch our color base here. I'm going to add my paper here. And all those colors go very lovely together. And voila! Now for my circle, I stamp on a two inch circle. And I put happy anniversary. I'm using the uh, wish for everything. You can use birthday, you can use thinking of you, whatever that you need. Or another greeting maybe. And it's the same thing. I use, now I want back my scrappy. I want to uh, just do partial of those flower and partial of the, the leaves. I put my greeting first. I stamp my greeting. This is two words. So I stamped that first in Blackberry Bliss. So then I knew it was um, where to stamp the flowers. Now I got a two and a quarter circle. This one, it's in old olive. Some of them I got in um, Blackberry Bliss. And then I use um, the... What? It's Whisper White. This lovely ribbon here the flax ribbon and I just use a little piece uh, about how much about inch and a half I'm using glue dot to uh, glue this and so I just gonna go right at the edge there not at the bottom there and where one side it's flush that's going to go on the card and diagonal I want it out. I'm going to put that right here. It's just said a little decoration. Now I'm going to use my uh, some glue dots. If you guys would see my um, desk right now you would say oh this lady it's functioning. Well sometime you do. And I smear my fingers again. Where, where, where is it coming from? I'm going to cover it with this here. And I don't put, see, I don't put new dimensional there. Because I want it off the thing a bit, but then on top. So about just a quarter. Et voila. So now you got this one that we stamp and sponge. Then inside... It's going to be another white piece that's going to go in, but here is, I just put my corner flower inside. Et voila. Now, for the other one that we started, see how quick this one is, because you just put your corner flower at the bottom there. Let's say it's there. Then I'm going to take my... Uh, that I cut this piece here, it's um, four by two and a quarter, the same than the white in designer series paper. Put that here. We're gonna glue this, put that over here, and we're gonna do the same thing with 
uh, the circle. One thing that I want to mention though, and with the circle, if you use this brand, you're going to put your circle below. Because if you put it too much, I feel we cover pretty much the old flower. So this one, I like to put my circle more below there. So it's all up to you. It's no right or wrong. But here is one. And where's the other one? That here is another print in the back. That's designer series paper. But this one, I mean, it's all flowers. So I put it in the center. Here is another print, the one, but the flower was, so I put it there. So you can play with where you're going to put them. This one here, see, I sponge a little bit of green all around in, in between the flower. So, again, all measurement will be on my blog. Right below, you get the direct link. So, hope you like this fun um, double fold. And till next time, happy stamping. And all supplies will be listed on my blog, and you can click shop 24 7. Thank you so much for your support, and have a lovely day. Bye bye for now.